Hello everybody and welcome to Throwback Thursday Player Edition. Today we're going to be talking about Kevin Seitzer. Kevin was born on March 26, 1962 in Springfield, Illinois. Uh, Kevin was drafted by the Royals in the 11th round of the 1983 draft. Uh, Kevin made his Major League debut in 1986 with the Royals as a September call-up. And finally in 1987 he made it to stay where he became the Royals' regular first baseman. During the season, he traded positions with Hall of Fame third baseman George Brett in hopes of reducing Brett's chances of injury. During his rookie year, Seisser hit 3.23 with 15 home runs and 207 hits, tying the MLB record in his rookie 1987 season. Although he was overshadowed by a teammate, Bo Jackson, he was selected to the American League All-Star Game. Kind of an interesting trivia fact, during a game in July of his uh, rookie year, while playing third base, Kevin got down on his knees and tried to blow a bunt foul. The bunt was put down by Twins' Dan Gladden. Seitzer finished the 1987 season as a runner-up to Rookie of the Year award behind Oakland A's Mark McGuire. He also holds the rookie Royals rookie records in games, hits, singles, and walks, and is tied for Carlos Beltran in extra base hits. After batting 304, 281, 275, and 265, the Royals released Seitzer during spring training in 1992. He later signed with the Milwaukee Brewers, where he became the regular third baseman. In 1993, Seitzer became a free agent and signed with the Oakland Athletics. After a slow start, was released at the All-Star break that season. He then re-signed with Milwaukee, solidifying him as an everyday third baseman, and again made the All-Star team in 1995. In 1996, the Brewers traded him to the Cleveland Indies for Mr. Jeremy Burnett. In only two postseason appearances with Cleveland, mostly coming off the bench, he hit 192 with a double, one run scored, and four runs batted in. He retired following the 1997 season with a career batting average of 295. During Kevin's final years, he wore an attachment to his batting helmet called a sea flap, which was an extra piece of plastic attached to the ear flap. They covered the left side of his jaw. He was forced to wear the protection after being hit in the face twice by pitches in 1994 and 1995. Nowadays, you see lots of players wearing them. I make jokes saying they are talking on their cell phones while they're batting because it looks like a headpiece that the coaches in the NFL wear. Players like Mike Trout, Bryce Harper, Juan Carlos Stanton, and Miguel Cabrera are wearing the C flaps at this time. Uh, on October 27, 2006, Seitzer was named the hitting coach of the Arizona Diamondbacks. He also was coach, hitting coaches of the Kansas City Royals, Toronto Blue Jays, and Atlanta Braves. Right now, he is the current hitting coach of the Atlanta Braves. And as a hitting coach with the Atlanta Braves, in the last four seasons, the team's total run average has improved. Uh, a little bit more, I started to uh, look on the eBay as because we are card collectors and sports memorabilia collectors. And wanted to find out what the highest items listed and highest items sold for Kevin Seitzer are. Uh, the highest sports item listed was the 2018 Omaha Storm Chasers Kevin Seitzer's bobblehead. It was listed for for $15 and $10 and 40 cents shipping uh, for a total of $25.40 it sold for. The highest card that sold on eBay was a 1987 Topps traded Kevin Seitzer rookie card and it was also autographed. It sold for $20 with 350 shipping for a total of 23.50. Also, right now you can find the highest card on eBay is a 1988 Kenner starting lineup card graded a PSA 10. This is listed for $200. Uh, if this is something you uh, like and enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace, love, and pooches.